Okay. All right. Now, now, do you pronounce your name, Jose? Uh, yeah. How you pronounce Jose? Now, Jose, what what's your wife's name? My wife's name is uh, Nikaila. Nikaila. Okay. Yep. Spell it for me. Uh, N i k y l a. Nikaila. Okay. Now, now, Jose, how did you hear about me? Um, I heard about you through YouTube. I, I've seen a lot of your videos, and um, I'm subscribed to your channel on YouTube. Okay. Now, your name looks for me. Have I ever spoken to you before, rather on, on an email or something? Oh, you, you might have been another Jose. Uh, no, I actually did speak to you about... I want to say maybe a year and a half or so ago. I thought so. I said, Lord, now, I believe I spoke to him before. I don't think you went through a deliverance. Is that correct? Right, right. Yeah, that was correct. Because I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think you, you thought you didn't need deliverance at that time. Right. Yeah, because I said, Lord, I said, help me remember. I said, this, his name looked for me. I said, I believe I have spoken to him. And I believe, you know, he didn't go through deliverance because he thought he didn't need deliverance. But I knew eventually, Jose, that you were going to call back. I knew that. <laughs> Praise the living God. So it took about a year. Thank you, yes. Jesus. It took about now, a year. Now, what, what happened? What happened to let you see that, that you and realize that, that you need deliverance? Well, it's gotten almost up to the bullshit point now. I mean, uh. I, I can't even get a full night's sleep anymore. You know, I'm mm. waking, waking up in the night. Um, three in the morning seems to be the exact hour every night. So I was trying to do a little bit of research and looking up about how, you know, sometimes uh, uh, God wakes up his people to get up and pray at that time. So, mm -hmm. I, was, so I was doing that. I was getting up and praying every night. And now it's just it now it's just out of control. It's not even at that hour. I can't even get a, a decent two two hours of straight sleep anymore. And uh, mm -hmm. my oldest my oldest son is being affected. Also, he's waking up early at night. Um, the dreams I'm having a lot of weird dreams. Uh, some sexual, some not. Uh, so is my wife. So. I mean, I I could definitely feel that there's a presence in in here. <clears throat> now, where are you and your wife originally from? The country, your family lineage. Uh, well, my family is originally from the Dominican Republic, and then my wife, her parents are from Italy, and her father's from Puerto Rico. Okay, so it's so your wife, Puerto Rico. Okay, right. all right. So, so what type of dreams are, are are you having? Well, you know, I was praying. I was praying to the Lord, and I was asking them because uh, in my dreams, I'm getting these weird, like, like strange women trying to trying to uh, have sex with me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I prayed. To, I prayed to the Lord, and I told them, you know, before, because sometimes I can't even control it. So I asked the Lord that whenever those dreams come, to just wake me up before before any uh, you know any sexual encounters happen. So that's been happening, like in, in the dreams, when right when this person is about to try to do something with me, the Lord will wake me up. You know, but to my just God, as you asked him, you asked him to do that, and that's what he did. Right, exactly. Mm, but what God happened, is so good. It's also, uh, you know, my wife's having dreams, and this and this spirit is coming to her as me. Yeah, you know? the spirit husband, the spirit husband. Right, and I was telling her, you know, that's not of God, you know, because mm -hmm. that that's not me in your dreams doing that with you. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. so that's mm -hmm. that's when I brought it to her attention that, you know, I believe that we both have spirit spouses that we need to, you know, get rid of because it's affecting our marriage also. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Those spirits don't want you two to be happily married. Mm. Now, uh, let, let have the Holy Spirit brought to your attention, Jose, when um, Spirit White entered you, it came in through some type of childhood molestation. I noticed with men, 
most likely somehow or another when they younger as a boy they come across some type of pornographic uh, material. Did that happen to you? Uh yes. Yes, I was I was exposed at a very young age to to pornographic material due to uh my uh some of my uncles that used to watch it. Oh and some of my uncles would would watch it and what what we would do it was like it was like me and a few of my, my cousins when they would go to work we would we would go and, and, and find that find their find their VHS tapes at the time and we and we would play the tapes. About what what age were you? I want to say I was like maybe like ten or eleven years old. Ten, eleven years old, little boy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then, and then, how long did it take you? Uh, you start masturbating. Um, I want to. I want to say it was shortly after that. It was short around around that same age, like ten or around eleven. Around the same age. And that's that's when you were having that spiritual intercourse with that demon spirit who claimed to be your spirit wife. Right. But God's gonna set you he's gonna set you totally, totally free. And I mean, okay, now I'll <laughs> go ahead. So at that age I was, you know, totally unaware about the spiritual spiritual realm. Mm-hmm. I mean, I pretty much all my teenage years was was doing that type of stuff. You know, and, yeah. and I had no idea, no clue. You know what? What exactly I was really doing, but I mean, it's yeah. it's, it's it's pretty much been a struggle since since I was a kid. Mhm. Mhm. God gonna set you free, and when you came to the Lord Jesus Christ, there was no servant there that trusted the Holy Spirit, and that they confronted this spirit, which is the strong man spirit, why? and commanded to leave God's house because they did not believe that it, it was even, they really did not believe no demon spirits were, were in you, Jose. That, right. That's the reason why they didn't do it. But, you know, when, when we bring people to Jesus Christ, that's the first step, bringing them to Jesus Christ. Now, dear Lord, after they come to Jesus Christ, that means that spirit has been birth, born into the family of God. Now, their, their soul realm, their mind, will, emotion, and their body need to be cleaned. And that's where God had delegated authority to his body on earth to cast those demon spirit out of those areas. And if God's servant on earth doesn't open up their mouth and cast them out, then Jesus cannot do it because he delegated authority to his body on earth. And because that those spirits were never confronted and cast out, the person ended up continuing living and practicing sin. And, and and they get guilty because they know where well, I, I gave my life to the Lord, but it's like it's like I can't stop doing what I'm doing. And they can't because those spirits are the spirit are ruling in their mind, the will, and emotions, the body. And that's what happened to you, and that's actually what happened to Nakila. You know, yeah. that's why I, you know, I try to share with the young people if they interested in marrying, especially you know if they are already engaged. Look, you you need to get delivered. And then counsel, and then you get married. But the main thing is get delivered first, because if you don't get delivered, you're taking those spirits into your marriage, and your marriage will be nothing but hell, because these spirits can do everything in their power to to break up that marriage by taking the peace out of that marriage. And the thing with with, with you and Nakila, those spirits are in you too, Jose. But also, the Lord let me know there are spirits also living in that house. Really? Yeah, spirits are also in that house. Now, how long have, have you all been 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 living there? Uh, no, in this house. In six years? Yeah, we've been living here for about six years now. Six years. So, 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 have you ever looked into the history of that house? Uh, no, because uh, when we bought this home, it was fairly new. Um, but some of our neighbors, before they moved away, they had told me that the family that lived here before, the owners that were the owners of this home before, um, they just seemed to leave. Like mm-hmm. they they said that they went to a few owners in a short period of time. Okay, I I, I couldn't hear that. What did you say? 
one of my neighbors was saying that this home, even though it was built in 2007, but he said that uh, that it had a, it had a few owners in a short period of time, and that for some reason, you know, the the people wouldn't last here that long. They up and left. Okay. Right. Okay. Well, well after your deliverance, your wife's deliverance, if you can. Go search. God's gonna gonna set you free. He's gonna set your house free. He's gonna set that land free. The the land that your house is on. So so in order to in order for you two to have a knowledge of of why this thing happened, why these spirits took up residence in your home, they are attached to the land. So so go and try to find the history of that land where you are. Find that history. And when you find that history, then it's gonna tell show you why those spirit had attached itself to the land. But since now you are God's children, you, you heard would be totally free. You have we have the authority and right to to dispel them from off your property, off your land. Okay? Okay. All right. Praise the living God. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pray for you and then I'm gonna minister to, to your wife. And I thank God for you two obedience. You know, it took a year, you know, you know, it took a year for you. And I thank God that after a year that you wholeheartedly, you seek him and you truly saw that you needed to be truly, truly delivered. So I, I, I praise God that you wasn't uh, ashamed to even share this good news with your wife. Now, now, question, do you, do you, your wife have any children? Yes, yes, we have two the, children. Their ages? Um, my son is nine and my daughter is going to be Did you say 12? No, no. My son, my oldest, is nine years old, mm -hmm. and my guess she's going to be six this month. Oh, great. So both of them are underage. So after you two deliverance, then I want you two to minister to your two children. You put your hands on your children. You've been the father, the priest of the home. You pray for the blessing of your children. Then you command every spirit, not of the Holy Spirit, to come out of their mind, their will, their emotions, and their body in Jesus' name. The same way that, that you can hear me minister to you, you minister to them. Only difference is you're not going to call out a name of a spirit. Okay, you're going you're gonna to say every spirit, not of the Holy Spirit, to come out. Okay, because okay. when you when you minister to little children, you don't call out names of spirits because Satan used that to put fear in them, and then by fear of being in them, they won't get set free. Okay, okay. So praise the little God. And then I'm going to talk to your wife about. Um, some things she need to do to make sure that she buy proper clothing and items for her children. Because a lot of items, clothes and toys for little children, they are demonized. And you want you want to be careful about that, okay? Not to bring such items in, in your house and and such buy such items for your little children. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and pray for you. So, Father, in Jesus' name, again, I thank you, as always, for this opportunity to minister your love and grace and mercy to your son, Jose. I thank you, Father, for it's both their time, Jose and Nikita, his wife. It's time for them to go forth in the power of your mind. It's time for them, Father, to fulfill every plan, purpose, and idea that you have in bringing glory only to your son, Jesus Christ, through them, it shall be fulfilled right here on this earth. I thank you, Father, that they all shall live and not die to proclaim your goodness, Father, to a dying world. I thank you for keeping them. I thank you for angelic hosts right now that you have around them and all their properties, Father. I thank you for the fiery protection that you have around them, keeping them safe from the evil and the wicked one, Father. I ask you to give Jose and his wife more wisdom, revelation, and understanding of who they are in your son Jesus and also who Jesus is in them. Father, I speak in the name of Jesus that doors that the enemy have closed off to Jose and his wife. And it's your will for those doors to be open. I open every door in Jesus' my name. And Father, there are doors that the enemy opened that was not your will to be open. I also take my thoughts in Jesus' name and I close every door and seal them with the blood of Jesus, never ever to be reopened again in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we praise you and give you all the glory. Father, again, we
continue to thank you for your presence on this conference line. You are with us from start to finish, Father. Even when we get off the conference line, you are still with us because you say you never leave us, you never forsake us. You said when two or three of us come together in your son's name, you are right here in the midst. And you said, Father, these are your words. You said whatever we bind and loose on this earth, Father, you bind and you loose this into heaven. So right now, in Jesus' name, I command you, spirit wife, I command you to come to attention in Jesus' mighty name and pat all your loads and get out of God's house. Get out. You get out of his mind. Get out of his mind. You get out of his will. You get out of his emotions, and you get out of his body in Jesus' name for the blood of Jesus command and commanded you to loose him. Loose him now and to let him go in Jesus' mighty name. Holy Spirit, as always, I call upon you in Jesus' name to search and destroy darkness that is dormantly hiding deep down into Jose's mind. Burn every spirit in his mind. They exalt and lift themselves against the knowledge of God and set them all ablaze. Set them ablaze, Holy Ghost. Burn every picture, every image that has been embedded into the conscious, the subconscious, and the memory of his mind and set them all ablaze. Destroy those pictures. Destroy those pictures by your mighty fire. Destroy in Jesus' mighty name. Holy Ghost fire, continue to ransack his mind. Wash, rinse, baptize, submerge, emerge his mind in and with the blood of Jesus. Purify his mind in and with the blood of Jesus in Jesus' mighty name. Holy Ghost fire, continue to consume darkness that have hold of Jose's will. Burn by your mighty fire, burn every spirit in his will. They exhaust and lift themselves against God's knowledge and set them all ablaze. Burn, Holy Ghost. Burn in Jesus' name. Burn. Leave no area in his will untouched by your mighty fire. Wash, baptize, submerge, emerge, and clean his will in and with the blood of Jesus. Purify his will in and with the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, Holy Ghost fire continue in consuming darkness that is holding on to in his emotions. They normally hide in deep down in his emotions. Burn by your mighty fire. Burn every spirit in his emotions. They exhaust and lift themselves against the knowledge of God and set them all ablaze. Burn, Holy Ghost, just ransack his emotions. Burn, Holy Ghost, leave no area in his emotions untouched by your mighty fire. Baptize, wash, and cleanse, and submerge, emerge his emotions in and with the blood of Jesus. Rinse his emotions in and with the blood of Jesus. Purify his emotions in and with the blood of Jesus in Jesus' mighty name. Holy Ghost, fire. Even continue to consume darkness that is dormantly hiding deep down in his body. Holy Ghost fire burn every spirit in his body. They exalt and lift themselves against the knowledge of God and set them all ablaze. Set them ablaze, Holy Ghost. Burn from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet. Ransack his body by your mighty fire in Jesus' mighty name. Holy Ghost fire burn. Burn darkness in his eyes. Burn snakes in his eyes. Burn lust in his eyes. Burn around his eyes. Even in front and behind his eyes, on the side of his eyes. Just ransack his eyes. Burn every spirit that looks out through the window of his eyes and set them all ablaze. Burn, Holy Ghost. Don't leave no area untouched in his eyes in Jesus' mighty name. Holy Ghost fire, consume darkness that is in his mouth. Burn, Holy Ghost. Just ran his mouth. Burn, Holy Ghost. Burn on top of his tongue, even under his tongue. 
Purify his mouth by your mighty fire. Rinse and baptize and wash his mouth in and with the blood of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire consume darkness that is attached even to his nostrils. Burn, Holy Ghost, burn in his nostrils, burn in his nose. Set his nose ablaze by your mighty fire. Ran, check his nose, his nostrils by your mighty fire. Purify his nose, his nostrils by your mighty fire in Jesus' mighty name. Holy Ghost fire even burn up and down his throat. Burn, Holy Ghost, just set his throat ablaze. Burn every spirit that is clinging, holding onto his throat. Burn, burn darkness that's holding onto his tonsil. Burn in Jesus' name, burn in Jesus' name. Burn, Holy Ghost, even ran shack his belly. Burn those snakes and their eggs in his belly. Burn all manner of spirits in his belly. They look like animals, sea creatures. Burn, Holy Spirit, burn it. Burn, Holy Spirit, look like insects. Burn, Holy Spirit, don't leave no area untouched in his belly. Burn deep down in his belly, set his belly ablaze by your mighty fire. Just ran shack his belly. Burn, burn even in his private area. Burn, Holy Ghost. Burn, burn in his rectum. Burn, Holy Ghost. Burn up and down his back. Burn up and down his back, up and down his chest. Burn, Holy Ghost, fire even up and down his arm. Burn up and down his leg. Burn on his fingers. Burn on his toes. Burn those rings off his fingers, those spiritual rings. Burn, Holy Ghost, in Jesus' mighty name. Burn on top of his head. Burn from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet. Burn every mark that was made on his body. Burn those evil marks. Burn those evil piercings. Burn, Holy Ghost, fire in Jesus' name. Ran shack his body by your mighty fire. Set his body ablaze. Burn, Holy Spirit. Burn, purify his body. Rinse, baptize, submerge, emerge his body. In and with the blood of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' name, in the spirit realm. I take God's scissors, I cut, and detaches him from the ungodly covenant of our doctrine and witchcraft. I detaches him and disconnect him from that evil spirit wife, that evil spirit husband, those evil spirit children, that entire evil spirit family. I disconnect him from every relationship in the spirit realm that the Father did not connect him to. I disconnect in Jesus' mighty name. Even in the natural realm, every relationship the Father did not connect him to, I disconnect in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' name, Jose, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, be totally free. In your mind, be totally free. In your will, be totally free. In your emotions, be totally free. In your dreams, be totally free. In your vision, be totally free. In your affairs, be totally free. In your business, and be totally free to serve the Lord thy God in him. Only when you serve in spirit and truth, be totally free in your body to serve and worship the Lord in Jesus Christ, mighty name, be free. Be free. Thank Amen. you, Father. Amen. Fear Jose. Fear Jose to overflow with your spirit. Fill his mind with your spirit. Fill his will with your spirit. Fill his emotions with your spirit. Fill his dreams with your spirit. Fill his vision with your spirit. Fill his affairs with your spirit. Fill his business with your spirit. And fill his body with your spirit, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father. And, Father, I also pray for Hosea House and his property. Holy Ghost fire, only you can do this mighty work. I call upon you in Jesus' mighty name. Go search and destroy darkness in Jose's house. Go in every room, every corner, crack, and crevice of the room and find all their dark hiding places and destroy by your mighty fire. Set his properties ablaze by your mighty fire. 
burn darkness in Jesus' name. Go in every bedroom, under every bed, around the bed, over the bed, front of the bed, the front of the bed, on top of the bed, between the sheets and the mesh, and destroy darkness. Go in every closed spot, in every closed area, every closet, and destroy darkness. Find all their hiding places and destroy by your mighty fire. Destroy objects that darkness have attached themselves to. Destroy those evil objects in Jesus' name. Even go outside the house. Burn around the house, over the house. Burn even under the house. Burn even under the ground. Burn objects that have been planted under the ground. Embedded in the ground for hundreds and thousands of years. Destroy by your mighty fire. Destroy objects thrown in the water. Destroy Holy Spirit. Set his process ablaze by your mighty fire. Put a blazing ring of hot fire protection around all his process in Jesus' mighty name. Wash, red shed his prophecy. Wash, rinse, and baptize and clean all his prophecy with the blood of Jesus. Rinse his prophecy with the blood of Jesus in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father, for even setting Hosea's prophecy completely free so that they can truthfully and spiritually worship you on their prophecies, Father. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. Glory to your holy name. Brother Jose, yes. Brother Jose, you are free. You are free in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. You know, when I pronounce you free, I felt and heard that, that demon being thumped out. You know, I don't know if you heard me tell other people this before, but sometimes the Lord will let me hear it. Him when he thump them out. You know, when you don't want something, you take your two fingers, your thumb and your other finger beside your thumb, and you take it, thump it, you thump yeah. it. Yeah. Well, that's, that's how the Lord did those demons in you. He thump them out with his finger. I heard them when they left. I heard him. I heard when the Lord thump them out. It was a thump, thump, thumping sound that I heard, and God said, you're totally free. And not only are you free, but your, but, but your prophecies are free as well. Praise the living God. So you receive what God done for you by faith because he done it. Because he told us whatever we bind and loose on this earth, he will bind and loose in the heaven and he done it. So so Brother Jose, what did you experience? Did the Lord let, let you experience anything? Um, no, I didn't really experience anything, mm-hmm. but I have faith. I have faith that, Amen. that, he, that he, it is accomplished. Amen. It is a confidence. Praise his holy name. It is done in Jesus' name. You are totally, totally free as well as your property. So let me let me speak to your wife. And after I speak to your wife, I'm going to have your wife to put me on speaker so that I can speak to both of you two, okay? Okay. Okay, let me speak to Nakila. Praise God. Thank well, you, Jesus. Amen. How you doing, Nakila? Good. How are you? It's Nakila. Nakila? Yeah. Okay. Praise God. So now your husband shared with me how you've been seeing him coming to you in the dream for sex. And he told you that wasn't him. That That is a spirit husband. There is a demon spirit who is claiming to be your husband and you are its wife in the spirit realm. Okay. So also it t- shows me that you were molested when you were a young girl. That's when you was a spouse to the spirit. That's when the spirit came into you, Nakala. It's through that molestation when you were a little girl. Right. So, w- w- about, so what age were you when, when that molestation occurred? Um, it was actually a mo- on multiple occasions. I believe it's... I, 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 just, I just need the very first time because that's when it first entered, that very first time. That's the initial entrance is that first time. What was the age when it first happened? Yep, I was in kindergarten, so I believe I was five years old. Five years old, yep. That's, that's the age. Well, Nakala, that's when that spirit, without you knowing, it entered you. Now, now, did another young child touch you inappropriately in, in the kindergarten? Yes. Okay. So it entered through the touch. Of, of, um, when the child touched you, what part of your body did the child touch? 
Um, my vagina. Mm. You know, so let me in the comment that this little child also been molested. Right. And that's the and, and, and that when that spirit touched your vagina, because what the Lord just revealed to me, when when when, when a demon spirit enter a child through touch, the the part of the body in which that child is would be touched would be a part that is a opening, it's a hole. It would either be the mouth, the eyes, the ear. If you're female, it would be the vagina. If the, if the man, it would be a penis or your rectum. Those area ha has a opening. So, okay. so when, when this child touched your vagina, when that child touched your vagina, that spirit entered right into your vagina. Right. And that, that's really sad. And that goes on more than what people realize. And there again, because this little child, little child who touched you, that had already been molested. And the reason why come Satan is successful is because your parents, the sins of your parents, your parents had rejected God. See, only God is our spiritual covering. He's the only one who can protect us. So when our parents reject God and God has given children, given parents as a covering to their children, so if the parents don't have a spiritual covering who is Jesus Christ, then the children don't have a spiritual covering. So right. if the parents reject Jesus, who's their spiritual covering, this child don't have a spiritual covering. And that's the reason why this spirit just transferred right into you. Now, now after that, did you ever experience masturbation? Because masturbation is, is an outward evidence of that spiritual intercourse, but you just can't see that that sexual partner. The sexual partner is a spirit. You can't see it. So so after that, how, how long did it take for you to experience that um, masturbation? Um, I would say shortly after that. I remember being mm. sad and feeling I would do perverted. Mm. It, it, didn't, it didn't even wait long. Sometimes it will wait a little, about two, three, four years. But in your case, it, it, act, it, it reacted quickly. Right. See, that was... See, 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 your parents will protect you from, from, from the human being, but they did not realize they needed to protect you from those spirit beings. And they were the one who, who, who raped you and molested you with the spirit being. Right. Now, you see, we as, as, as parents, we need to be submit to God so we can protect our children spiritually as well as physically. Is very important. So yeah. praise God, you and your husband, you know, you have a nine and a six-year-old. Do you not know, Natalia, that those same spirits are already in your children? Right. But they, they dormantly hide in deep down, and they may have already showed themselves through, through their actions and their reaction. And that's because those spirits are there. But your husband had been totally set free. I, the Lord let me hear it when he thumped those spirits out of your husband. And he's going to thump those spirits out of you. And then and after I finish ministering to you, I'm going to talk to both of you two to share with you insight on how you can get those spirits out of your children. Okay? Okay. And then from this day from this day forward, you two just stay submit to God. Okay? So I'm going to – then the reason why I need you to confess to that molestation is because it closed the door to the enemy. It exposes his evil deeds. And, 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 and he cannot hold that over you and keeping it a secret because he hold it over you and keeping it a secret, that would give him um, 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 an opportunity not to leave. That's an open door for him not to leave you because you, you refuse to confess to that wrongdoing. Right. But by you openly confessing, Satan like, man, she told our dirty little secret. That's why the devil always tells people, don't tell anybody. Keep it to yourself. Because right. you know if you, if you don't confess it, then God cannot have mercy on you. You have okay. to confess to your wrongdoing. And when you confess it, it closes the door to the enemy. The enemy has to let you go. Okay? okay? Praise the name of the Lord. So I'm going to go ahead and pray for you, and I'm going to speak a disconnection. And Jesus is going to grant you that divorce. Now, this is divorce that you and Jose really needed was a spiritual divorce, to be divorced from these spirit spouses, not from each other, but those spirit spouses. Those spirit spouses were the one who caused problems in your marriage so that you two can contemplate divorce. 
Because remember now, they say that you are their spouse, and they do not want to share you with you. They hate marriage. Anything that's of God, they hate. So the, the divorce that you really needed, you know, Jose, is this spiritual divorce that God is uh, granting uh, to, to you both today. So God's going to set you totally free. He, again, he set your husband free and also set your house free. Those, those spirits that was, a, that was a sign attached to your house, they are no longer there. They're gone. Okay. The Lord, Lord kicked them off your property. Okay? Amen. 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 So I'm going to go ahead and pray now. So, Father, again, thank you for this opportunity to now to minister deliverance to your daughter. I thank you, Father, that your plan, your purpose, your idea for her in bringing only glory to your son, Jesus Christ, it shall be fulfilled on this earth. Father, again, I thank you for keeping the bold for them, for keeping this entire family, gracing them with your spirit. Thank you, Father, for the heavenly protection that you have signed around them. And I ask you to, to remember her, to give her more wisdom, more revelation, more understanding of who she is in your son Jesus and also who Jesus is in her. I thank you, Father, for opening her blind eyes so that she can comprehend and see truth in her, her deaf and ears so that she can hear truth, and that she can know true, Father. I just thank you, Father. Father, there are doors that the enemy have closed off to her, and it's your will for those doors to be open. I use my thoughts in Jesus' name, and I open every door that is your will to be open. And the enemy have open doors that's not your will to be open. I also use my authority in Jesus' name and close every door that's not your will to be open. And I seal those doors with the blood of Jesus, never to be reopened again in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we just praise you and exalt your name forever. And I thank you, Father, for what you're about to do in this young lady's life. For you can truthfully, spiritually, Worship through her. Thank you for freeing, freeing her mind. Thank you for freeing her will. Thank you for freeing her emotions, and thank you for freeing her body to truthfully serve and worship you spiritually, Father. Thank you, Father. Father, there are a lot of things that that she don't even understand, but by faith, Father, she is choosing to receive your word, to receive your instruction. And I know, Father, as she continues in, in your way of truth, that you will enlighten her mind and enlighten her understanding where she can understand. And I thank you, Father, for that day will soon come to pass. And I just give you praise. Father, I also thank you for continuing to be with us your presence is still mightily with us now. And we thank you for your word, where you have instructed us to bind and loose on this earth. That is in your will to be bound and loose, that you also will do the same in the heaven. So right now, in Jesus' mighty name, spirit husband, you took advantage of Nicola, when she was five years of age. Your time in reigning is up, and Jesus commands you to lose her and to let her go. You come out, pack your load, you pack all your load, and you get out of God's house. You get out of her mind. Come out of her mind. You come out of her will. You come out of her emotions, and you come out of her body. Because the blood of Jesus commands you and commanded you to loose her, loose her, loose her, and let her go in Jesus' mighty name. Holy Spirit, as always, I call upon you in Jesus' name to search and destroy darkness who is lurking and hiding dormantly in the caller's mind. Burn every spirit in her mind that exalts and lifts themselves against God's knowledge, and you set them all ablaze. Set them ablaze, Holy Ghost. 
burn, Holy Ghost, burn every negative and nasty image and picture that's been embedded into the conscious, the subconscious, and the memory of our mind and set them all ablaze. Set them ablaze, Holy Ghost. Burn in Jesus' name. Just ran shut her mind by your mighty fire. Purify her mind by your mighty fire. Rent, wash, and baptize, and clean her mind in and with the blood of Jesus in Jesus' mighty name. Purify her mind in the blood of Jesus in Jesus' mighty name. Holy Ghost, continue searching and destroying darkness that's even lurking and hiding dormantly in her will. Burn every spirit in her will. They exhaust and lift themselves against God's knowledge and set them all ablaze. Set them ablaze, Holy Ghost. Burn, Holy Ghost. Burn in her will. Just ransack her will by your mighty fire. Burn, purify her will by your mighty fire. Rent, wash, submerge, immerse, and baptize her will. In and with the blood of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name. Holy Ghost fire continue to consume darkness. They are dormantly hiding deep down in her emotions. Burn, Holy Ghost, burn every spirit in her emotions. They exhaust and lift themselves against God's knowledge and set them all ablaze. Burn, Holy Ghost. Burn, Holy Ghost. Purify her emotion by your mighty fire. Wash and rinse her emotion with and by the blood of Jesus. Fill her emotion with and by the blood of Jesus. Just ransack her emotion by your mighty fire in Jesus' mighty name. Don't leave no area untouched in her emotion. Every spirit in her emotions that don't feel like you, they don't act or react like you, they don't even sound, walk, or talk like you, burn, Holy Ghost, burn, Holy Ghost, in Jesus' mighty name. Holy Ghost fire, continue consuming darkness that is hiding deep down dormantly in her body. Burn, Holy Ghost, just ran shake her body by your mighty fire. Purify her body by your mighty fire. Burn every spirit in her body. They exhaust and lift themselves against the knowledge of God and set them all ablaze. Burn, Holy Ghost, don't leave no area untouched in her body by your mighty fire. Holy Ghost fire, burn those snakes in her eyes. Burn, burn that lust in her eyes. Burn every spirit that looks out through the window of her eyes and set them all ablaze. Burn around her eyes, under her eyes, above her eyes, in front of her, her eyes, behind her eyes. Consume her eyes by your mighty fire. Rinse and wash and purify her eyes in and with the blood of Jesus. Baptize her eyes in and with the blood of Jesus in Jesus' mighty name. Holy Ghost fire continue to consume darkness that is hiding dormantly even in her mouth. Burn, Holy Ghost, burn all manner of spirit that is clinging onto her tongue. Burn, Holy Ghost, burn, 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 burn between her teeth. Burn on top of her tongue, burn under her tongue, back of her tongue. Burn, Holy Ghost, just continue to set her mouth ablaze. Even burn in her nose, in her nostrils. Holy Ghost, fire set her nose, her nostrils ablaze by your mighty fire. Burn all manner of darkness that have attached themselves in her nose and in her nostrils in Jesus' mighty name. Baptize, wash, purify, rinse her nose and her nostrils in and with the blood of Jesus in Jesus' mighty name. Holy Ghost fire continue consuming darkness that is clinging onto her tonsils. Burn, Holy Ghost, even burn up and down her throat. Burn in her ears, in her hearing. Set her ears and hearing ablaze in Jesus' name. 
purify, rinse, and wash her ears in hearing by and with the blood of Jesus in Jesus' mighty name. Holy Ghost, fire, burn darkness. They are dormantly hiding deep down even in her belly. Burn, Holy Spirit. Burn those snakes and their eggs in her belly. Ran shackle belly in Jesus' name. Burn, Holy Ghost. Burn all manner of spirit that is in her belly. All manner of spirits that look like animals, sea creatures, insects. Burn, Holy Ghost, burn in her uterus, burn in her womb, burn in her Philippian tube, burn in her ovary, burn in her vagina. Holy Ghost, fire, set her vagina ablaze by your mighty fire. Burn those snakes and eggs in her vagina. Set them ablaze, set them ablaze in Jesus' name. Wash and rinse and purify her vagina in and with the blood of Jesus. Holy Ghost, fire, even burn in her rectum. Burn, Holy Ghost. Don't leave no area untouched on her body and in her body in Jesus' mighty name. Holy Ghost, fire, burn up and down her back, up and down her chest, even up and down her breast. Burn on her breast. Burn, Holy Ghost. Burn on her head. Burn that crown off her head. Burn those rings on her fingers, her toes. Burn every jewelry, every object planted on and in her body. Burn by your mighty fire in Jesus' name. Just ran shackle by Burn, Holy Ghost fire. Burn every mark that was made on her body. Every person, every image that was made on her body. Burn by your mighty fire in Jesus' name. Just wash and baptize. Submerge and immerse her body in and with the blood of Jesus. Rinse and purify her body in and with the blood of Jesus in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' name, in the spirit realm, I take the sins of God, I cut and detaches her from that ungodly covenant of family, idolatry, and witchcraft. The blood of Jesus separates and detaches her from that evil covenant, that ungodly covenant. The blood of Jesus forgiven her and her ancestors of their iniquity. The blood of Jesus sets them all free. The blood of Jesus poisons them all by his cheap blood, by faith in Jesus' name. I detaches her from that evil spirit man, that evil spirit husband. I detaches her from that evil spirit wife. Those evil spirit children, I detaches her from that entire evil spirit family. I detach her from every relationship in the spirit realm that the father did not connect her to. I disconnect. In Jesus' name, because the blood of Jesus disconnected her. Even in the natural realm, every relationship, the Father did not connect her to. I disconnect in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, Akala, be totally free. Be totally free in your mind. Be free in your mind. Be totally free in your mind. Be totally free in your will. Be totally free in your emotions. Be totally free in your dreams. Be totally free in your visions. Be totally free in your affairs. Be totally free in your business. And be totally free in your body to serve and worship the Lord. In him only will you serve his spirit and truth. Be free in Jesus' mighty name. Be free. Thank you, Father. And I ask you to fill Nakia. Fill her to overflow with your spirit. Don't leave a vacant or void, but fill her mind with your spirit. Fill her will with your spirit. Fill her emotions with your spirit. Fill her dreams, her vision, her business, and her affairs with your spirit. And fill her body with your spirit, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father for setting this captive totally free to truthfully spiritually worship and serve you in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Amen. Mm-hmm. Kyla, you are totally free. Thank you, man. In Jesus' name, you are totally free. Praise him and thank him for his goodness. You are free in Jesus' mighty name. So as I was praying, did the Lord let you experience anything? Because he set you totally free. 
praise His holy name. I felt a lot of uh, warmth going through my, my belly and my back. Amen. Amen. Okay. That's the Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Driving out every spirit that is not of him. See, see, the Lord himself is a consuming fire. He's a consuming fire. And he's the only one who can clean and wash us on the inside from, from all manner of evil, unclean spirits. He's the only one who can do that. And so that's what he's done for you. He, you, you are totally free. And what that means, Nikali, is that demons no longer... They no longer have a place to stay. They no longer live in, in your mind, your will, your emotions, and in your body. They're no longer there. All those areas now belongs to the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost has filled his himself in all those areas. The Holy Ghost has consumed you. You are totally of the Lord. Totally. When he looks on you now, Nicola, he don't see no darkness. He just see himself. You are totally, totally free. You and your husband. You two are totally free in Jesus' name. And your house is free. So I pray for your house after I pray for, for your husband. Your house and all your properties are totally free. Okay? So you, you can, uh, can, can you put me on speaker? Yeah. Where, where, where both you two can hear me? Praise yeah. God. Yeah. Praise God. Amen. So, so what the Lord wants you two to do, you two, since you are the spiritual covering for your children, and you are totally free now. Thought is not in you, okay? So now when you lay hands upon your children, they are holy hands, hands of holiness. So, so um, Jose, since you've been the father of the home, the man of the house and the priest of the house, you put your right hand on your nine-year-old first and then your six-year-old. And then, um, Nicola, you, you put your right hand on your husband as he prayed for your children, Okay, and you, you are agreeing, you're coming in unity with each other through the Holy Spirit for that total deliverance. And uh, Jose, you, you bless your children. Let, you, let, let your children hear you bless them as you heard me bless you. You bless your children. Now, once you bless your children, now you need to look through your children. Okay, when you bless your children, you're looking at your children. That blessing is for them. But now, now you're moving into another stage. But now you're going to look through your children to those spirits that are dormantly hiding in your children. And that's, that's when you say, in the name of Jesus. Now, remember, Jesus Christ is right there where you two are. He's right there with you. As a matter of fact, Jose, when you put your right hand on your child, Jesus' hands is under your hand. And when you say on this earth, the words that you speak on this earth, Jesus speaking those words in, in the heavenly. So he's looking at you to give him instruction, to command him. He's looking at your mouth. Okay, Jose, I need you to speak my will be done on earth, and I'm going to do it in the heaven. So when you say every spirit, not of the Holy Spirit, I command you to come out and call your nine-year-old name. I command you to come out of their mind, their will, their emotions, and their body in Jesus' name. So you said every spirit that is not of the Holy Spirit. So you don't have to call out a name because they know they're not of the Holy Spirit. And they hearken to the word of the Lord through you, okay? And you tell them to come out in Jesus' name, and they come out. And then, and then you, you ask the Father, well, well, first, first you you call your child out by name and say you are free. Your mind is free. Your will is free. Your emotions are free, and your body is free. So you have to pronounce that on earth that they are free. They must hear it. And then that's when you ask your heavenly Father to fill them. Those areas got to be filled because if you don't ask the Father to fill them, those demons are gonna come back in and see that that space is vacant. And they'll jump back in. So you ask the heaven the Father to fill their mind, will, emotional body, with his spirit in okay. Jesus' mighty name. And then the Father fills them. And then you do the same thing with your six-year-old. Now, when you do it, one of them may, may be agitating. You know, when they're agitated, that's not them. If you sense any type of agitation, that's not your child. That's that demon spirit. Don't stop, Okay. Because the demon spirit is going to do that to trick you to get you to stop. That's not your child. 
That's that demon spirit. Because the whole spirit is agitating them. Because you're stirring up their nesting place. I don't know if you ever, ever experienced uh, living in a roach, a roach infestation. You know, roaches are like, you know, you, you know, you may see stragglers, you know, in the house, and you think it's just those two or three. Yeah. But what you don't know is they have a nest somewhere. And that nest, you may get rid of the straggler, but that nest is still there. That nest is still there. And, and it's going to take a, a, a more professional treatment to destroy the nest. So whenever you use a professional um, treatment to to destroy the nest, it stirs up those roaches, you know, because, because you, you you got to the root of the problem. You got to the nest. So anytime you get to the root of the problem or a nest, it stirs them up, and they go scattering. Well, that's what the Holy Ghost does. He he gets to the nest, the the infestation of those demons because they hide deep down within. So whenever he do that, it stirs them up and they scatter. So that's the reason why with one of your children, you, you may experience that agitation, you know, like they're trying to get you to, to take your hand off their head, trying to get from under you. That's not your child. That's that demon spirit. So you keep, you, you, you keep allowing the Holy Spirit to use you in, in speaking that disconnection. Okay? And that's what you do. And then, Lord, set your children totally free. Now, they're free. So it's going to be up to you two to keep them free. So they are very young. So you have to monitor. You have to monitor what they look at. You know, you have to monitor. Monitor their uh, television program. Monitor their computer equipment. You know, you have, you have to monitor all of that. And also, you know, with you, Nakala, be careful when you go out and buy their clothing. You have to yeah. look over those clothes, and you need to ask the Holy Spirit, is these clothing okay? And the Holy Spirit will tell you, it might be something slightly wrong with those clothes, and the Holy Spirit will say, look right there. And you look, and the old Holy Spirit will open your spiritual eyes, and you will see a symbol that looks like a snake. That's because the Lord will open your spiritual eyes. And you say, man, why can I couldn't see this before? Because your spiritual eyes was closed. So you have to cry up the Lord. My daughter, who have a, a little grandbaby, she has to. She realized she has to do that because she brought a garment. She brought a garment, and she didn't think nothing was wrong with it. And she put on her little girl, our granddaughter, and she started acting strangely. And the Lord told her to 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 look at it, and and that's when when she saw it. And she said, "Mom, I didn't see that before." She said, I see right now that I really have to always remember to ask the Lord, is this okay? Okay, if I buy this for my child. You know, it don't matter if it's, if it's new. Because what happens is people will even take new clothes and try them on. The devil has people to try on new clothes. And, and, and the devil knows that that person is anointed with his presence. And when they try those clothes on, Nikayla, those spirits attach themselves to those clothes. Somebody else come and purchase, they don't pray over their clothes. They just get it because they like it. They don't inquire the Holy Spirit to see if it's okay. And don't pray over it. And they buy it and they get home. They put it on themselves or put it on their children. And all of a sudden they notice their children's reaction is just totally the opposite. They don't know what's wrong. And that's what's wrong. So, so you have to inquire of the Lord in everything. Um, no matter how small or how great, because Satan is so subtle now in the designers. He has Satanists as designers, and they're designing ungodly clothing, especially for little children, because Satan likes to get us when we're young, when we're a little child, you see. And again, you put those clothing on your children, and you wonder why couldn't they behave the way they're behaving. So you inquire, you so you inquire of the Lord. You 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 monitor them and and be careful. Also aware, you know, don't allow in and everybody to be holding your child. And this can be family members too, because those spirits will even transfer. You know, right. through family and friend, people wanting to hold your children. You know, you know, I love children, but but you know, Lord, give me wisdom. You know, you know, I can't be holding everybody's children, even though if I hold them, they're gonna get the presence of God. But 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 I have to I have to abide by 
by the uh, rules of their parents. So from afar, I bless them from afar. If I get the parent's permission, then I go lay my hands on the child and I bless the child. I just don't go walking up to a child and holding them and kissing all along like I do my grandchild. I don't do that. You know, and if you catch people that do that, you need to stop. Don't don't let them do that. I don't care if it's a family member, especially when you know they're not serving the Lord. Those spirits in them will agitate those children. After a while, your children begin the face begin to break out, and you wonder why. What what, what happened? Why the face breaking out? And because of your relative kissing all on them, and and I'm gonna tell you something. This day and time, you just can't let even relative be kissing your baby because people are doing such ungodly acts with their mouth. That is not of God, and they're kissing on your children. Right. You hear what you hear what I'm saying? They doing ungodly acts with their mouth. They having sex with their mouth, and that is ungodly. That is not of God. And you sit there and let them kiss all over your baby. I don't care how clean them they look. Uh uh-uh, uh, you ain't kissing. Of course, I got my baby days are over with, but you ain't kissing on my grandchild like that. No, right. because you don't you don't know where their mouth where their mouth be in these days. Mm-hmm. You know, so you better you better inquire and ask ask the Holy Spirit to show you the spirit that is in in people. That includes your relatives. Show me the spirit that's in them. You know, they can call you funny. Say, yeah, I am funny. You know, yes, I am funny because God holding you and your husband responsible for the upbringing of your children, not just physically, but spiritually as well. And Makala, you see how the enemy deceive you at such a young age at five years of age. Right. The devil don't play fair. He he out to kill, to steal and destroy, and he don't care of the age. Right. So God God, you know, wanted wanted to warn you to warn you to, you know, and, and you too as husband, why regardless of any decision that you made, I don't care how small or great, you know, inquire of one another in reference to that decision. It don't matter how small it is. And cry that's love. That's what love would do. And cry of one another. You know, you may make money, you may work and make money, he may make work to make money. Well, don't let the devil tell you that's your money, you do whatever you want to do. No, it's your spouse's money too. So you need to come together because the Holy Spirit cannot bless where there is no unity. Right. You have to you have to be in unity. You know, you have to go to one another. You know, so you know what? I found this, and I really like it, and I want to uh, purchase, but I, I want to know if I have your blessings, okay, with you. Same thing with your husband. He do the same thing. Don't let the devil give you the attitude where this is my money. I work for this money. I do what I want to do. You know, that's the spirit of Lucifer. That's the spirit of Lucifer. And he got kicked out of heaven, and such spirit will get you kicked out of heaven, too. So you don't acquire such a spirit. You check with one another. That's what love would do. Okay? Praise his holy name. So I want you two to share what great things God has done for you. And you, Nakala, you share. When God, when God brings in your past a certain relative who will confide in you the things that they are going through, then the Lord wants you to share what you went through. And when you share what you went through, especially with God and that child molestation, that relative will share their, what happened to them when they were a child and molested. And then you can share with them, God set me free, and he wants to set you free. You know, you too can minister deliverance to, to that loved one, or you can feel free to have them to call deliverance conference line. That choice is up to you because the same Jesus Christ who empowered me to do this great work is the same Jesus Christ who will also empower you to do his great work if you choose to believe so. Okay? Praise his holy name. So you two have any questions before I go? Um, no, no, I don't think so. No. Amen, amen. And, uh, and from this day forward, you know, just, just keep in your house. Just, just, just find worship music or, or um, uh, teachings of God's word, and and just let it play. You know, on on my program, I have um, audio called spiritual house cleaning, and um, t- you you can take and download it. You can download it, 
Okay. Uh, and, when, and when you download it, just 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 keep it playing in your house low. Keep it low, okay. Keep it playing in your house on 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 a low volume, okay. 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 Uh, Lord just told me to tell you, uh, Nakala, this is important. Now those snakes were in you. That's those are spirit lust. Lust, spirit lust looks like a snake. Takes on the appearance of a snake. It's a spiritual snake. Okay, and so before your deliverance, it entices you to buy certain garments. Now, if you have any garments in your house that that make when you put it on, it makes you feel like you're sexy. You need to get rid of those because that was spirit snake who told you to buy those garments, so you can focus on your sexiness. Spirit snake always focus on sexiness because it's lust. So Lord said, you have to get rid of those garments. Don't give those garments away. Destroy them. Cut them up and throw them away. Okay? The Lord right. said, do that. Because if you put them back on, you're going to find your body feeling funny, and you're going to move your body slightly a certain way, and then you're going to feel a slight feeling of sexiness. That spirit snake. And that thing would jump back into you. Okay. Even, 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 even your lingerie, the sexy lingerie that you bought for your husband, get rid of it. You know, I shared this with a with a young lady, and apparently she didn't believe it. And uh, cause she got rid of the clothes, but she kept the sex, sexy lingerie. And so she put that lingerie on and went to bed, and she got attacked sexually by a demon. She woke up with a demon having sex with her. The next night, she put it on again, the same thing. And then she said, she heard the Lord say, get rid of that garment. And she said the next day she got rid of it. And she never experienced that again. Right. You have to get rid of it. Because anything that you put on that make you feel sexy, that is spirit snake. That is lust. You know, a true godly husband, it's not concerned with the sexiness of his wife's body. He, he looks on her heart because she, she carries a special quality in her heart that no other woman have. It don't matter how gorgeous that woman looks on, on the outside. Did his wife have a special quality on the inside that he fell in love with her about? It had nothing to do with her body because he knows when she gets a certain age, that look is no longer going to be there. You can, you can do whatever you want to do. You can get surgeries, all you want to. That look is just not going to be there because it comes with the aging process. But because of the husband loving his wife, what's on the inside, he don't, he don't concern himself with love. But I'm here to tell you, you show me a husband who concerned with his wife looking sexy, I show you a husband that got spirit snakes in them. They got lust in their heart, lust in their eyes. I don't care who you are, okay, how much you say you're a man of God. If you focus on your wife being sexy, snakes are in your eyes. Lust is in your eyes. And you're not just looking on your wife. You're also looking on other women because love snakes. That's, the, that's what it does. It love. It desires that which don't belong to it. Right. Now, that was for somebody who's listening, either now or later. Praise the living God. So you know, we have to do these things, uh, Jose and Nicola, if we want to stay free, stay free, where the devil have no space in us. We don't want to give the devil no space. Because if you give him a little inch, he's going to take over. Right. Okay. okay. So these are things you must do. You know, stay in unity one with another. Pray together. Go ahead and make it a habit to pray together. Regardless if you feel like it or not, pray together. Make a habit, Jose, of letting your children hear you bless them. You know, when a child hears their father bless them, it's totally different when they hear their mother. It's something about the father because he's an authority figure. It goes a long way with that child. When a child makes a mistake, you know, and that mistake, if you see that when you correct this child, you're angry, don't correct them yet. Wait. Because if you correct your child in anger, you're going to cause anger to be planted in your child. So you wait. You wait and say, okay, Lord, I can't correct them now because if I do, I'll be fighting them because I'm angry with them. So let me just 
bash in your presence. Praise your holy name. And then, then when you bash in the Lord's presence, and now you okay. Now you confront your child. They let your child know that, that they are wrong. And say, now daddy got to discipline you. I'm disciplining you because I love you. And then you discipline them. Don't ever discipline your child while you are angry with them because actually you are beating them, you are fighting them. And the devil will, will, will put more anger into them because Christians told fathers not to pro, provoke their children to wrath, to anger. You hear me, Jose? Don't ever do that to your children. Okay? Praise the living God. So if you two have questions in the future, you can just, Jose, I think you friend me on my Facebook. Is that correct? Yes, and I, I also uh, went to your, your page there. Okay, good. Mike? Good. Yeah. good. So if you have any future questions, just, just send me a private message on my page. And, I, okay. and I'll respond to you as soon as I can, okay? Okay. All right. You two stay blessed in Jesus' name, okay? Okay. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Praise okay. the living God. So sweet, sweet cup. You know, it's such a blessing when God deliver a husband and wife. Wow, that is a great blessing. Praise the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. So, dear Lord, I'm going to end session for today. And remember, I hope call-in delivering sessions every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time by calling our deliverance conference line 712-775-7031. Enter SS code 335-950. Internationals, to request a session, just visit our website at howshalom.org slash deliverance. And you'll find the instructions on how you can also call in and request a session. Now, for those of you who really want to just listen to our session, I do be uh, running this on our deliverance radio. And the listener number is 716-748-0762. That's for those of you who just really want to listen and you don't or request or require a session. You can call our listener number 716-748-0762. So dear heart, stay blessed in Jesus' mighty name.